Hello bandits. With thanks to the folks at Ember Labs, I've been taking a look at their new Xbox release of Kenner Bridge of Spirits. This one has been out on PC and PlayStation for some time now, but I'm really happy to see it come to Xbox consoles as well. Players will take the role of Kenna, a young spirit guide tasked with the responsibility of guiding troubled spirits to the next world. You'll range through various different locations surrounding a forgotten village, followed by your trusted companions, the Rot. These adorable creatures wear many hats, but will help Kenna to interact with the environment as well as provide healing and additional powers in combat. On her path to discover the sacred mountain shrine, Kenna will also use the rot to clear corruption and bring life back to the forest and help spirits move on from the material plane. Combat itself is pretty typical for an action adventure with light, heavy and ranged attacks, blocks and parries and enemies ranging from small to gargantuan. The rot and Kenna's spirit powers, however, do mean that this one manages to stand out a little more in its own right, as well as delivering a unique and well thought out story. Kenna Bridge of Spirits is rated by Peggy at 12 and above, and by the ESRB as T for Teen. It is a relatively low rating here, and it's one which is based mostly around combat. With the fantastical nature of the enemies and powers, it's not something of particular concern, and I have been happy for the micro bandits to watch me playing Kenna's small and large fights. With the nature of Kenna's role as a spirit guide, there are considerations here for upsetting content, but overall I am rating it as mostly harmless. And with that stacked up onto the rundown, my 5 point rating for Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Gameplay 4. There are some really solid action adventure mechanics in here, augmented a little by new spirit powers. However, combat and platforming will feel very familiar to action adventure fans, and while that's not necessarily a bad thing, it does mean that things can feel a little samey pretty quickly. Visuals 5. Kenner Bridge of Spirits is one of the most beautiful games I have played. Visuals here on Xbox Series X have been flawless, and the game also provides a solid photo mode as well to help players capture their adventure. Overall, in terms of visuals, Kenner delivers the kind of graphics that I could only have dreamed about for years, and it is a gorgeous sight. Audio 5 Audio is another strong showing, and whether it's effects or voice acting, things are very strong here. It is helped along by a decent script, but the audio is a good show all round, including great music to complement combat and platforming. Narrative 4. Kenna has really tugged on my heartstrings here and delivered a great story. I would have liked a bit more information when starting the game as players are thrown right into it without much preamble and cutscenes can sometimes feel disjointed. But overall it is a story which has given highs and lows and a good narrative pull throughout the game. Replay 4. There's a decent enough amount of stuff to explore and collect in game including rot, shrines and other optional bits and pieces, but I would like to have seen more in terms of lore drops. It doesn't help that the combat and platforming is fairly standard, but most of these optional collectibles do have an impact such as increasing health or karma and finding new rot friends. Overall, my Pixel Bandit Spirit level for Kenner Bridge of Spirits is a well-rounded 8 out of 10. Kenner has been a solid adventure and it's boosted by some of the best graphics I've seen. While the combat and platforming don't really break much new ground, they have seen a solid construction with well joined together combat. It has been an adventure which I've enjoyed overall, even though it has felt overly familiar. It does what it does very well, but it does feel a shame that the title doesn't reach into the spirit world a little more to try and bring some more innovation into a fairly well-worn genre. If you're looking for a standard action adventure with a familiar feel, Kenna is definitely one for you. While it won't deliver too much for those looking for new mechanics, the rot provide an absolutely adorable edge and the visuals are beautiful to look at. As ever, to provide my review and common sense parents guide, I received a free copy of Kenner Bridge of Spirits from the folks at Ember Lab. And that's all we've got for you today. Check out the extended review at pixelbandits.org for more information on this one. If you found this helpful, a like, comment, share or follow might not cost you anything, but it really goes a long way to helping Pixel Bandits remain ad-free and independent. Either way, we hope to see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.